my Expect the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I want to talk about a very interesting sale that happened over the weekend. That book right there. If you're interested in finding out why this book was very interesting to me, and why I'm even talking about this, stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, we're talking about a sale that happened over the weekend on Saturday. You know how I like to talk about some of the uh, smaller auction houses and not really focus on the big, big auction houses because sometimes you can get some really nice gems. And these uh, local auction houses are often overlooked and not really talked about much. So I like to talk a little bit about the Bruno and Auction uh, Company that had an auction this weekend. And um, there were, I think it was a morning sale and an afternoon sale. The morning was like cards and so forth and then uh, some toys. And then this afternoon was the uh, comics, toys, and I think a little bit of cards. So it was mainly focused on the comic book store. I think there was about... 300 or so lots, so forth, and um, a good share of some like bronze, copper, modern, a little bit of uh, Silver Age, and a uh, very little bit of Golden Age books. But there was one book in particular that really caught my eye, and I was um, just a little surprised that they ended up uh, listing this book and not correcting it. So why am I talking about this book? This is TMNT number one, uh, graded by CGC at a 7.5, first print. So uh, we're gonna look a little bit, you know, further into the book. You know, first off, it had an estimated sale price here for eight to 12,000. Um, it sold for 8000 but before it even started getting, you know, traction on uh, Saturday, before it even went up, you know, officially for sale, I was looking up the, uh, the whole, you know, listings of books that, you know, just really caught my eye. And I had a bunch of books here that I highlighted just for the, uh, the show itself. And I was going to do some uh, preview on it. I just didn't have time. It was later on in the week. But they, like, just to show you some, they had graded cards. Uh, I was looking at some of the, uh, you know, rookie uh, LeBron and, and Tom Brady cards. You know, they didn't sell for anything too spectacular, you know, 275 190 They had some uh, original art I was looking into as well. Some really good prices on some of this. Original art for uh, 120 bucks, 180 And obviously it went up from there. Um, I actually just recently bought a piece of original art, you know, that, that I'm going to be unboxing in a, a future video. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing what's in that package as well. Uh, but then going on to the comic books. So like I said, I highlighted some random books that were just piquing my interest just to see what they would sell for. You know, First Rhino, Punisher, Early Batman. That's a pretty good sale. I have to look, look at GPA after to see how, uh, how it performed versus recent sales. But as I'm scrolling down, there was a bunch of uh, DC Comics Presents 26s, an early FF5, first, uh, first Doctor Doom, you know, and so forth, and a nice little Ant-Man, but then two lots back-to-back -to -back for uh, lot 816, lot 817 for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, CGC 7.5, first print, and then a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, CGC 9.2, third print. Uh, the third printing surprisingly only sold for 600 bucks at a 9.2. That's pretty low. Um, and then we'll look at GPA in a second. And then the first printing sold, like I said, $1,000. So let's look a little bit further into the books as to why I thought there was a big mistake. So we'll look at the third printing. If you're familiar with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's a very distinct way to determine a first print from 
a third print or a first and second print from a third print. And uh, we'll look at the picture. Obviously, besides the fact that it's, um, you know, labeled as a third print by CGC, you can tell the big difference between a first and second printing without actually opening up the book is looking at this T right here. The T will actually have a little bit of blood splat in the middle part of the T, right? So that's the, the big distinctive factor. So I'm going to zoom back out, go back to the first printing. Same thing, we'll open this up, zoom it in. As you can see, CGC does not designate a first printing, but what do we see here? A little blood splat. You don't get that on a first printing or a second printing. So, <laughs> first and foremost, we got a big mistake by CGC. They graded the book, they labeled it as a first printing. Now, if you want me to show you some, uh, what an actual Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one graded by CGC should look like, let's go on to eBay real quick. And I will show you, just to save you some time. might have to filter this out by price because that will be the easiest way to do it. So here we go, a 9.4 graded by CGC, $40,000. Wow. Now remember what I said about the T. It has blood splat in that middle part of the T. First and second printing will not have that. What do we got there? As you can see, there's no blood splat. You only see it in that tiny little corner there. But that's it. It's a vast, vast difference than what you see here. So you do have that tiny little corner, but you get that whole additional splat. So <laughs> what do we have here? The book sold for $8,000 and it's clearly not a first print. So we have one of two things. This guy egregiously overpaid for a third printing, which is now I guess a record price for a third printing. <laughs> and uh, the person who bought it thinks he has a first printing, which uh, well, unfortunately is not the case. Um, so what did I do leading before I even got to the auction? I spotted this, <coughs> excuse me. I spotted this Thursday night. The auction happened Saturday. And I, I talked to a few people, you know, on Instagram, people that are more familiar with uh, Team NT than I am. And, uh, you know, they were like kind of surprised that uh, this happened. And uh, I even reached out to uh, Bruno and company auctioneer house on uh, I think it was Thursday night and uh, let me pull up the uh, conversation real quick. I'm going to pull up the conversation that I had and actually I sent this out on Tuesday. Wow. So like I said, auction happened on Saturday. I reached out to them on Tuesday saying, hi, just looking at your comics auction and noticed one of your books was being listed as a first printing and it's really a mistake rated by CGC lot 8116 like I showed you. And I showed him the image just because, you know, I don't know who I'm talking to on Bruno and Company Auctioneers. It could just be somebody that deals with social or secretary or so forth. I don't, I don't really know. And then they responded Thursday morning. Hello, thank you for uh, your message and concern. I will let Travis know and we will reach out to CGC and discuss internally. Thank you. So uh, that's all that the uh, conversation was. They never responded afterwards. And um, that was pretty much it. Um, as you can saw, you see from, <laughs> from the, uh, the final pricing, it actually went to auction, it sold, 
and this is today, Monday night, I'm recording this, they usually contact all the uh, people that have bought on Monday or Tuesday for, um, for basically invoices to go either pick it up or pay for it online. Usually, whenever I've purchased from Bruno and Company, I've gotten either you know a phone call from them Monday morning saying, "Hey, when you know is your invoice? When should we expect you to show up and you know and pick it up and pay for it?" And it's usually a few days later. I usually come by and get it. So they've already been contacted for all obviously all of these you know sales, and um, hopefully this person realizes the. Uh, Seven thousand dollar mistake because a seven five, as you saw, a nine two in a third printing, which this is a nine two uh, actual third printing, sold for six hundred dollars. So realistically, the seven five is probably I don't know four hundred bucks maybe. Who knows? It's still less than probably F and V. It probably goes for more on uh, eBay, but you know the auction is the auction. You know, the first printing sold first, and then the third printing sold second, and that's why we saw the probably the six hundred dollar price. Normally, I'd expect this book to be closer to eight nine hundred dollars in a nine point two. So a seven point five, maybe four hundred bucks. I don't know, um, but realistically, that's like a seven thousand dollar mistake compared. You know. For the first printing, that's actually a third printing. So I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm kind of confused. I don't know after when I messaged uh, Bruno and Company if they actually reached out to Travis. Travis, if you don't know, is the uh, the head of pop culture and comics at uh, Bruno and Company. Um, he's the expert in that category. They have a bunch of different categories of uh, auctions. They sell furniture. They sell, you know, old. Um, Militaria, and then the pop culture stuff. Uh, probably something else too that I, I can think of, but that's the only stuff that I know of. Oh yeah, and fine art as well, fine art. So they all have their separate categories. I don't know if Travis was ever notified. Uh, I just did my due diligence in, in contacting the uh, auction house beforehand. I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of people that wouldn't even contact auction houses ahead of, ahead of time. To see, you know, and see basically if, if they would actually go through with it or not. Um, I took the extra step just because I've bought books from them before. I, I just wanted to see if they would actually go ahead and sell it. They clearly sold it, um, so don't really know what to think besides that price. So <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Um, are you shocked as I am? Do you care at all? And before I forget, please share this video. Um, knowing from you know buying at auction houses, you have no clue who buys these books. They don't tell you it's a confidentiality thing. So um, by sharing this video, it helps it get out there. You know, I feel really bad for this person who you know ultimately pays over eight thousand dollars for what they think is a first printing, and it's really a third printing. So if this can get out there. That will help out that person, you know, and maybe there's something they can do about it, you know, because like I said, if you don't share the video, nobody really finds out about these kind of things. So uh, I wanted to finish out with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.